everyone, this is Amy with Ketolicious Life. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be making another chaffle casserole. And there's nothing better than hot, cheesy, gooey pizza. So we're gonna do a pizza chaffle casserole. So let's get started. Drifting on the ocean, sometimes I pass by an island, but there's nothing there for me. I have quadrupled my white bread chaffle recipe that works amazing. It holds up to sauces and liquids and it doesn't fall apart and become mush. So it's excellent for a casserole base, like your bread base, noodle base, whatever it is that you're wanting to make. So I love the white bread chaffles in casseroles. It is game changer. So let's get started. We're gonna make our chaffles first. Um, and I'll show you the ingredients that are going to go in that. Okay, so for the chaffles, I have two-thirds of a cup of almond flour in my bowl. We're going to do eight ounces of egg whites. We're going to do two tablespoons of mayo plus two teaspoons of mayo. Okay, I'm going to be adding in six ounces of softened cream cheese. I just softened it in the microwave half of a teaspoon of baking powder, half of a teaspoon of sweetener of your choice. I'm using Sweet Complete. This is has stevia in it, erythritol, chicory root fiber, and just stevia. So I'm gonna be using half of a teaspoon of that. Just give it a pinch of sweetness. Makes it taste a little more like bread. All right, two and a half teaspoons of psyllium husk. We're gonna whisk this all together nice and smooth and then we'll make our chaffles. I'm using a big chaffle waffle iron and then I have um, a couple, if I wanna get it done quicker, I have a couple small dashes that I'll use as well. All right, so here is our first chaffle. Looks really good. I'm going to put it over on the cooling rack. And that one's still going, so we'll load this one back up. So I'll make all the chaffles, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you the next step. Here are all of our chaffles. We have several, three or four of the big size and then three or four of the small size. So we're ready to go and make the sauce. All right, so this is kind of the fun part. We're gonna be making homemade pizza sauce. As many of you know, when you buy pizza sauce in the store, it'll have sugars and things that we don't want on our keto journey. So we're gonna make our own. So I'm gonna put in one can of tomato sauce. And just check your, your cans for ingredients. Make sure there's no sugars in I'm gonna only be doing six ounces of this tomato paste. Tomato paste is a little bit thicker. It gives it the nice consistency. It is a tiny bit more carbs. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oregano. two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic salt, you can season this to your liking. If you want more of something, it's up to you. Quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. This is optional. You can put some pepper flakes or crushed red pepper if you like. I'll put just a little bit. Ava doesn't like it too spicy. And this is optional. Also, I love to put some garlic in mine. So I'm gonna do a nice little scoop of garlic. And that is it, that's our sauce. Now we're gonna mix this all up and we will be ready to assemble our casserole. So that's 
that's it. It's really easy to make your own pizza sauce. It does not take a lot. I mean, it, it kind of requires a lot of bottles. You know, you'll see you have, you know, a lot more bottles you're dealing with and measuring spoons and cups, but it's worth it. It tastes amazing. And just look at this rich, beautiful sauce. It smells amazing. I mean, if you really want to go homemade, you can do real tomatoes, you know, totally up to you. But this, this smells so delicious. So we're going to set this aside. We're going to get, bring in my cute little chaffle dish here. And for toppings, I'm going to be using sliced olives, mozzarella cheese, sliced mushrooms, and of course, pepperoni. So we're gonna get started and get this casserole in the oven and it's gonna smell amazing and it's gonna feed a lot of people. So that's what I'm excited about. All right, let's get started. If you want to, you can tear your truffles into small pieces. You can layer it like this. It's really up to you. It's not gonna hurt anything if you do decide to tear it up into small pieces. It's just gonna make it easy to scoop it out. So there's our first layer. So we're gonna get a spoon. We're gonna spread our delicious sauce all over. Like a lot of sauce. Also, you know, watching carbs, but if you like a lot of sauce, feel free to do as many as you want. Next goes our cheese. Now we're gonna layer on our pepperoni. If you haven't checked out my other chaffle recipe, I'll put it up in the cards at the top of the screen. It's a Philly cheesesteak chaffle casserole. It's so good. All right, so we're gonna sprinkle on some mushrooms. Sprinkle on some olives. Put just a little bit more cheese on the top. That'll give it some glue to the next layer of chaffles. And definitely feel free to use whatever tomato or whatever pizza sauce that you have, you know, feel free to use that, whatever you want. I just really liked, oh, we forgot our pepperoni. I just really liked the idea of making my own and then I know that the ingredients are keto friendly. Pepperoni. And you guys tell me, pepperoni go, always goes on last, or does it go on, does the mushrooms and olives go on last? Good question. I've always wondered what order. I feel like the pepperoni makes it look pretty, so we're going to go that way. Okay, and then we'll put on a little cheese on that. Last few chaffles, I just tore them up and, you know, put them on in little pieces. I thought that would work really well. And there's, I put a little bits of the, our pizza sauce, and then we're just gonna top this with some cheese. And if you want, you can top it again with pepperoni. I think I'll do that. I'll top it with my pepperoni and then we'll call it good. And we'll get this in the oven and it's gonna look so pretty, toasty brown on the top. I'm gonna do it in the oven at 375. I'll start out at 375 and see how it looks. Cause we're basically, all we're doing is heating this through. 
So you could even go up to 400 if you wanted to, if you wanted to get it done. I just don't want any of the chaffles to burn. So we're gonna do it that way. Uh, just put a kind, couple pieces of cheese on top there and we're done. This is gonna go in the oven, our chaffle pizza casserole. So I'll put this in the oven, I'll show you when it's done. All right guys, so here is our first piece. It came out really nice. I don't know if you can see the layers. It's kind of hard to see, but they're there and it looks delicious. Of course, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of ranch just to make it look good. I mean, I think pizza needs to always have a little bit of ranch. What do you think, Ava? All right, Ava's gonna taste it for us. So here it is. Let me take a couple pictures for my thumbnail and we're gonna serve it and eat it. All right, Ava's gonna be testing out the chaffle casserole, pizza chaffle casserole. Oh God, I can't get the chaffle. <laughs> oh, look at that cheese stretch. Is it good? Tastes just like pizza? All right. Is that one yours or are you going to eat it? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ava. You th a thumbs up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Bye. There's my chaffle pizza casserole. I hope you enjoyed it. It's super easy to make, super delicious, and keto friendly. So be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I'll put the recipe down in the, com in the description box. And please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you stick around. I have lots of recipes, grocery hauls, keto day in the life, what I eat in the day, all that kind of stuff. Would love to have you stick around. I hope you enjoy this recipe if you try it. If you do try it, please come back. Let me know in the comment section. I love to hear what you guys think. And tell me what toppings you like. What are your favorite toppings? All right, that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.